Hello and welcome to Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. Triceps tendinopathy is a common condition, especially among weightlifters, bodybuilders, and climbers. It is pain in the distal posterior upper arm just superior to the elbow joint. This is a condition where the main symptoms are soreness and tenderness in that area. Most of the time it is caused by either a strength and balance where the bicep muscles are overpowering the tricep muscles or overuse. In most cases it is overuse. Like I mentioned weightlifters and bodybuilders there is too much exercise being done and not enough rest, especially with the triceps because they are used in chest exercises like the bench press and the incline press and in shoulder presses and then also in the tricep exercises themselves. The symptoms of triceps tendonitis are usually aggravated by active elbow extension, resisted elbow extension, and passive elbow flexion. The triceps are the large muscles that are located in the posterior upper arm. Two of the heads of the triceps originate on the humerus, which is the bone in the upper arm, while the long head originates on the scapula, which is the medical name for the shoulder blade. All three of these heads form together and they create one tendon that attaches on the olecranon process of the ulna. The main job of the triceps, in medical terminology, the triceps is often called triceps brachii. The main job of the triceps brachii is elbow extension. The long head, because it crosses two joints, it crosses the elbow joint and the shoulder joint, it assists in shoulder adduction and shoulder extension. The triceps brachii muscle is innervated by the radial nerve from vertebral levels C6, C7, and C8. The main symptoms of triceps tendinopathy are tightness and soreness in the posterior aspect of the upper arm, just superior to the elbow joint. There can be tenderness upon palpation and also swelling in the area, but usually strength is intact. In most cases, the source of triceps tendinopathy is overtraining, overuse of the triceps muscle. Very common in bodybuilders and weightlifters. You want to make sure that you modify your training to prevent this condition and if you start to feel symptoms in this area, you want to definitely modify your training routine. The first thing you want to do is give yourself more rest in between training sessions when you are doing pressing exercises. These exercises include the bench press, the incline press, the shoulder press, the dumbbell press, the behind the neck press, and any type of tricep pressing exercises. As I mentioned, there are a lot of pressing exercises, and this happens because many times we are training the chest one day, the shoulders another day, and maybe the triceps even on a third day. So you want to modify your routine so that the triceps get adequate rest between training sessions. You can also modify your grip. We use a variety of grip when you are benching or when you are pressing. You can use a wide grip, a medium grip, or a narrow grip. This will target the muscles at a slightly different angle. Also, when you are performing tricep exercises, you can do exercises with a neutral grip, a pronated grip, or a supinated grip. Disclaimer alert, please never self-diagnose yourself. If you think you have triceps tendinopathy or any other type of condition, see a medical professional. You can see a doctor of chiropractic like myself, or you can see another type of medical professional. Get an evaluation, get the proper diagnosis, and a treatment protocol. This will set you on a direct path 
to recover. When you are performing stretching, strengthening, or motion exercises, please work within a symptom-free range of motion. An exercise should never elicit or intensify symptoms. If an exercise elicits or intensifies symptoms, stop that exercise immediately and find a viable substitute. As I had mentioned in other videos, prevention of injury is easier, faster, and less expensive than injury recovery. If you start to feel symptoms of this condition, see a medical professional immediately. You also want to modify your treatment. You can do some self-massage in that area. Always work very light. You can do triceps stretching exercises. You can do motion exercises. But please see a medical professional to make sure that triceps tendinopathy is your proper diagnosis. Because the last thing you want to do is be performing exercises that rehab triceps tendinopathy when you have another condition. This can set you back in your recovery and can also lead to a further injury. As a doctor of chiropractic, triceps tendinopathy is a condition I have seen in my office numerous times. When someone comes in complaining of symptoms in the area of the triceps, I'm going to do a consultation and an examination of the entire chain. Remember, the triceps are innervated by the radial nerve, which gets its nerve signals from C6, C7, and C8. That means that those nerves branch off the spinal cord in the lower part of the cervical spine. The cervical spine is the medical name for the neck. So I would check the cervical spine, the upper thoracic spine, I would check to see how the scapula is moving. The scapula is the name of the shoulder blade. In medical terminology, I would check the shoulder. I would check the triceps, the elbow, and the entire arm all the way down. If I determine that the patient has triceps tendinopathy, I would perform treatment on that same exact chain. I would look at especially the lower part of the cervical spine and the upper part of the thoracic spine. I would look at how the shoulder blade is moving to make sure it is stabilized. Look at the shoulder and at the tricep muscle and at the elbow joint itself. Also look at the wrist and the hand. We want to make sure the entire chain is healthy. I would perform a chiropractic adjustment on whichever one of the joints needed. This will help to restore proper physiology. It will reestablish proper motion to the joints and it will help to take off any nerve impingements that may be occurring. This is definitely important because an injury to the lower part of the cervical spine can affect the triceps. So we want to make sure that the triceps are getting their proper nerve flow. So a chiropractic adjustment in the lower part of the cervical spine and upper part of the thoracic spine will help accomplish that. I already mentioned some of the self-treatment that you could do, but first of all, you want to modify your routine. I know I said this several times before, but give yourself adequate rest between training sessions. You can add stretching exercises to the shoulder, to the chest, and to the elbow joint, specifically the triceps. You want to make sure that you do some self-muscle work. Always use mild pressure. Never use moderate or intense pressure. Just use mild pressure when you are working on the tendons and the muscles. Again, mild pressure. Thank you everybody for viewing today's episode of Dr. Ozello's Sports Medicine Report where I covered triceps tendinopathy. I am Dr. Donald Ozello of Championship Chiropractic in Las Vegas, Nevada. I am the author of Running, Maximize Performance and Minimize Injuries. This book is available in paperback and ebook formats. You could go to my website, championshipchiropractic.com, to get additional information on the book and also to visit my blog. My blog has numerous articles on sports medicine, chiropractic, health, fitness, and nutrition. So please do yourself a favor and visit my website, again, championshipchiropractic.com. Please feel free to like this video. If you have feedback, suggestions, or questions, please leave them in the comments section below. 
Also, you can subscribe to my YouTube page, Dr. Donald A. Ozello, D.C. If you are watching this video, you are on my YouTube page. Always remember to train hard, but train smart. Get adequate rest between training sessions. Utilize nutritional and supplementation strategies that work for you. Stay injury-free and accomplish your goals.